Here's more wrestling news for June 27th, 2022. And your headlines for this afternoon include several AEW contracts have quietly expired. Jackson Riker makes his in-ring return. Cody Rhodes will be in AEW Fight Forever video game. Sting seemingly makes an untimely botch during his match against the Bullet Club at Forbidden Door. The ball is in my court. Former WWE superstar confirms re-signing a lucrative deal with Tony Khan's AEW. This was long overdue. Twitter erupts after Pac wins the AEW All-Atlantic Championship at AEW XNJPW Forbidden Door. Former WWE superstar appears backstage at Forbidden Door with Jay White. They don't want to hear reality. Former WWE personnel points out major flaw with Tony Khan's approach failing to grow AEW's fan base. Watch, Bollywood actor takes on the great Kali. Miro mocks The Undertaker's previous comments about today's weaker generation of pro wrestlers, and more. We are starting off with AEW as the company is always adding new stars and has been criticized for having an overly stacked roster, causing some names to not get featured. Some of the wrestlers that work for the Jacksonville-based promotion get paychecks handed to them per appearance, but that's changed for some of the talent. Sean Ross Sapp reports from behind Fightful's paywall that multiple AEW stars have had their per-appearance agreements expired and that they have been quietly let go. It was not added in the report who has been let go by AEW, but we can expect names to come out over the next few weeks and months. A few people have left AEW in recent memory, mostly originals like Joey Janela, Marco Stunt, and Stu Grayson, and as the company's locker room fills with former WWE talent, more names are on their way out. In November 2021, Jackson Riker was released from WWE after a series of controversies related to the former Impact Wrestling star. Riker had reportedly alienated his fellow wrestlers and fans alike for some of his posts on social media, but now, seven months later, he is returned to the squared circle. Riker made his wrestling return at an unnamed independent show yesterday, and photos emerged on social media of him wrestling in front of a small crowd. The former WWE superstar has been in the news recently for some comments he's made, most notably taking issue with some things Becky Lynch has said, so we'll have to see what comes next for Jackson Riker. Back to AEW, as the biggest name to leave the company so far is Cody Rhodes, who has gone on to have an incredible return to WWE. Despite his recent torn pectoral muscle, Rhodes has been presented as the face of WWE, but his time with the All Elite promotion remains an important part of his career. While speaking to Sports Illustrated this week, Kenny Omega discussed the AEW console video game he's been working on and confirmed that Rhodes will be in AEW Fight Forever. Omega explained that he was very passionate about Cody's legacy and position within the company being preserved and that the game will reflect AEW's early days despite the ever-changing locker room. Interestingly, Rhodes isn't in WWE 2K22, as the developers thought it was too late to include him in the game or DLC packs, and while he's being considered the cover star of WWE 2K23, Rhodes will be around for AEW's first console game. Last night was the much-anticipated AEW New Japan crossover event Forbidden Door, which saw an interesting appearance by Sting. Sting had a huge spot when he jumped off the top rope to take out the Bullet Club, but he also had an untimely botch during the match. During a sequence, Sting was seemingly supposed to be in the ring with El Phantasmo, but was outside the ring and only made his way back when Nick Jackson pointed this fact out. Jackson was on the opposite team to Sting, which made the botch even more awkward, but Sting, Darby Allin, and Shingo Takagi were able to get the win in the end. It's been over six years since Sting announced his in-ring retirement during his 2016 WWE Hall of Fame speech, and every match he's had since then has been special. But this awkward botch did look out of place for the usually excellent icon. From one AEW star to another now, as Miro has been with the company for some time now and will be sticking around. Speaking to Fightful, the former AEW TNT champion confirmed that he signed a new long-term deal with AEW, an offer he happily agreed to for a particular reason. They wanted me to sign a long-term deal for a reason, and I signed long-term for a reason. It's a place where I can be creatively free, and now the ball is in my court. Everybody watching AEW knows that I am a world champion. I know it. I don't want to sit around and collect a check. I want to create and evolve and to become world champion. 
The ex Rusev also had praise for Tony Khan and AEW as a whole, adding, Tony Khan believes in me. He lets me do me and doesn't have to be involved in every single thing. I love working with him. I love the company. I love the stacked roster, the opportunity. Like 99% of these people I'm fighting now is for the first time. I love those challenges. I love every single time I step foot in the ring. At Forbidden Door, Miro came up short in the battle to become the very first AEW All-Atlantic Champion, but with a new long-term contract under his belt, there could be plenty of championship gold to come in his future. More from Forbidden Door as the show was a good night at the office for Pac, who made history last night. Defeating Clark Connors, Malachi Black, and Miro in a fatal four-way match, Pac became the very first AEW All-Atlantic Champion, and Twitter erupted upon this news. Many called Pac's win, his first title victory in AEW, overdue, with Impact Wrestling's Chris Bay saying that the British wrestler is finally getting what he deserves. The AEW All-Atlantic Championship is the promotion's newest title, and there will be plenty more champions to come, but Pac will always go down in the history books as the very first wrestler to hold the gold. There were plenty of big names around for last night's Forbidden Door Super Show, including New Japan's very own Juice Robinson. Standing alongside Jay White during a backstage interview, Robinson described the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship match between Will Ospreay and Orange Cassidy a number one contenders match, implying that he will be the next to challenge for the title. Robinson also called the title the Champions Championship before Shivani moved to Jay White to talk about his title defense later in the night. Robinson isn't the champion, but is refusing to relinquish the physical IWGP US title belt. And with Osprey retaining against Cassidy, it seems a match between the British star and Juice Robinson is inevitable at this point. AEW New Japan Forbidden Door was certainly a show for wrestling fans, and it proved to be a hit with those most passionate about the industry. Tony Khan and Guido earned a lot of praise from hardcore fans, but that's not always the best thing, according to Vince Russo. Speaking with Dr. Chris Featherstone on the latest edition of Writing with Russo, the controversial wrestling figure critiqued Khan's ways of doing business. AEW don't want to hear anything negative. They don't want to hear reality. When it comes to casual television viewers, that's the reality. When something is on the screen, in order for it to keep their interest and my interest, there's got to be something that pops out at me, and I ask the question, who is this? Otherwise, I've got no interest whatsoever of investing my time unless I'm of that niche audience. I'm just saying guys, you're never going to grow your audience with this presentation. AEW has always taken pride in catering to hardcore wrestling fans, and while that's great, the company does ultimately need to grow. Right now, AEW is still behind WWE in almost every meaningful metric, and until they cater to the more casual fans, that's where they'll stay, according to Russo. Now, the great Kali was with WWE for many years, and while his size was a spectacle, it also meant he had physical limitations in the ring. Despite this, Kali now runs a wrestling training academy, which had a special guest recently. Bollywood actor Aditya Roy Kapoor recently visited Kali's school, partially to promote his new film, Om: The Battle Within, which comes out later this week. The former world heavyweight champion was seen in a push-up challenge with Kapoor, while Sanjana Sangi tried to distract him. Kali's wrestling school has produced some names, most notably SmackDown superstar Shanky, and the first-ever Indian WWE world champion remains busy after all these years away from the company. And we're ending today with The Undertaker, who is one of wrestling's most iconic stars and has earned a ton of respect from fans, but some of the comments he's made in recent years haven't gone down well. A few years back, the dead man infamously said that the current generation of wrestlers have gone soft and said that it's bad that they're now playing video games instead of fighting and carrying knives and guns backstage. There is some irony to a man upset at people playing video games, accusing others of being soft, and now one wrestler is hitting back against the phenom. Speaking on his Twitch channel, Miro said he is passionate about gaming and addressed The Undertaker's comments. Everything started very accidentally. After my release from WWE, I had nothing. I had to sit at home for three months and wasn't able to work anywhere. Thankfully to Xavier Woods and my mentor Shaq, they kind of inspired me to do what I love doing. I love playing video games in my time off. I've loved it since I was four years old. Why not do it when I'm chilling at home and connect with my friends and audience? People are trying to talk bad about video games, which I never understood. We all have our downtime. 
Some people want to drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes and do heroin, and others want to play video games. Some of these old timers are calling this a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing just because we have more brains now than people before doesn't mean video games are bad. Sorry Undertaker, we don't have guns and drugs and don't fight each other backstage. Ultimately, people will relax with what they enjoy, and in the case of many wrestlers, this means playing video games, no matter how soft enjoying things makes you appear in the eyes of The Undertaker. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.